It's been 40 years since the first Halloween and the introduction of Michael Myers. Now he's back and more terrifying than ever. So after all this time, why is he still one of the scariest horror icons? Do you know that I pray every night that he would escape? Well, here are three reasons why. The hell did you do that for? So I can kill him. Number one, the eerie music. What's a Halloween film without this iconic score popping up every time we see Michael? Director of the first film, John Carpenter, composed this theme. It's the perfect track for a man of not so many words. Next up, his mask. Hello, Michael. I have something you might like to see. Okay, tell us you wouldn't turn the other way screaming if you saw this face, well, anywhere. For a mask that was originally part of a Captain Kirk Halloween costume that was just painted white, it really scares the heck out of us. Simple, but effective. And finally, Michael's presence and demeanor was simply known as The Shape. In fact, that's how he was credited in the first film. In the script, he was described as The Shape, and throughout production, that's what the crew often referred to him as. You see it in the way he walks and how he nonchalantly stalks his victims. And turns out, that infamous walk was just the way actor Nick Castle moved in real life. This nickname became so pivotal in Michael's history, they considered it as the title for this new sequel. I need to protect my family. You have no security system, Karen. Mom, you need help. Evil is real. Yeah, that's gonna haunt me. So add those three things together and you get a one-of-a-kind horror legend. What scares you the most about Michael Myers? Did we miss anything? Let us know in the comments below. Happy Halloween.